Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, I'll show you how to customize the WooCommerce shop page. So right now I'm on the shop page of this uh, dummy WordPress website, which is using a WooCommerce plugin. And I am already logged in to the WordPress dashboard of this website. So this is the shop page of this website and you can see that these products are listed on the shop page. Now we can make changes to the appearance of this shop page. So let's see how to customize this shop page. Now I am already logged into the WordPress dashboard so I can see this customize option here. So click on customize. All right, so now we are going to customize this shop page. Scroll down and you will see the option WooCommerce. Click on it. Now here, the first option is store notice. So this is the store notice. If you want to put any notice on the shop, you can enable this option. Click on enable. All right, so this is the notice that will be showed on the shop page. You can change the text here. All right, now let it disable. Now let's go back and here you will see the option product catalog, click on it. Now you can see that it shows shop page display and it is showing products. If you want, you can change it to categories. So when you change it to categories, it will show only the categories on the shop page of this uh, website. Let's publish it and see how does this look. Okay, so all the categories will be shown here. Now you can change these images. These are the default images. You can change the images for the categories also. Now let's go to dashboard, go to products, then go to categories. Now I'm, I'm going to set up an image for this affiliate category. So click on edit. And here you will see the option to upload image. I'm going to take from the media library. Select and click update. Okay, so this is the image that I have assigned for the category. Now let's refresh it. Now you will see the image for this affiliate category. So this is how you can set up the images for the categories also. We can also select show categories and product. So it will show the categories first and then it will show the products. So let's change it back to show products that will look nice on the shop page. But if you have a big website with many categories then you can select the option show categories and also assign images for the categories category display show products so when you go to any category let's see let's go to one category all right now i'm going to one of the categories services so if you have subcategories then you can select subcategories and it will show the subcategories if you do not have subcategories, then you can select show products. So whenever someone clicks on category, it will show the products under that category. All right, so leave it as it is. Let's go back to home and let's go back to shop page again. This is the default product sorting. Right now it is set to default sorting. You can change it by these options. Average rating, it will show the good rated product at the top you can also sort by prices and uh, you can also select most recent so the product which is added newly will show at the top let's check it click on publish let's go back to shop page and refresh it and you will see the latest product at the top of the shop page all right, so let's set it back to default sorting. Now people can sort from this option. Let's see, here is an option to sort the products. So people will be able to click on this option and sort the product using these options. I'll advise you to just keep it as default sorting. Now default, the shop archive content width. So it is not of any use. If you want, you can change the width of the content. This is how it will reduce or increase the width of the content. So let's set it back to default. 
now how many products you want to show on the shop page right now it is set to 9 so let's change it to 24 so 24 products will be shown on the shop page now this is the number of columns right now it is set to 3 we can change it to number 4 and you will see four columns let's publish it and see how does this look right now it shows three refresh it now you will see the products in four columns so this is how you can adjust the columns of the products all right now this is the shop product structure so this is the shop product and this is the structure you see the category then title then ratings and then price category title ratings and price if you want you can disable any one of them let's disable ratings simply you can click on it and it will stop showing the ratings of the product you can also change the position you can make the price at the top so it is now price category and the product title now here are the other options if you want you can show the short description also so I'll just disable it and if you want you can show the add to cart button also so people will be able to add this product to the cart directly from this page let's publish it and see how does this look so refresh it now you will see add to cart button also all right see I can add directly to the cart from here okay so the product is added to the cart all right so this is how the product catalog works let's go back and click on single product now disable breadcrumb this is the only option here let me show you okay so this is the breadcrumb of this uh, product if you disable it it will go away so this will be useful if you have many products and if you have many categories then people will be able to go to that category directly from this breadcrumb and you can click on it and it will go to the category all right now the next one is product images so i guess the default settings are good for product images if you want you can change the size of the product image also okay now this is the cart option and this here you will see enable cross sales if you're not aware of upsells and cross sales then you can check my other video where I have explained the upsells and cross sales also now, this is the cross sales okay now if I disable it and publish it now let's refresh it okay now the cross sales product is not here all right so this is how we can enable or disable the cross sales from here so this is the last option checkout you can make changes to the checkout form now you can see the company name here is the company name it shows optional if you want you can hide that option so the company name will not be shown on the form these two options are required and mandatory now if you want you can disable this option also the second line address right now these are the mandatory options phone field is required you will see the phone field is also required if you want you can make it optional and it will show this optional so if you are setting up the shop then I'll suggest you to keep it required okay now this is the privacy policy you will see it the link here the privacy policy if you do not have any privacy policy page created then create a page then you will see the option here to select that page okay now this is the terms and conditions page I'll set this page refund and return policy and you will see the changes here okay so this is how they will have to click on this option they will have to check the box so that they will confirm that they have read your terms and conditions now you see this privacy policy short description you will see it here this is the option here you can make changes if you want to make changes to this data you can change it from here
and this text you will see here all right so this is how you can make changes to the shop page of the woocommerce website thanks for watching see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips